Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, and thanks for watching. What's today, uh, girls? Today we are talking about phone calls from guests and the way that our staff, or a staff, handles a phone handles call. Handles a phone call. So, of course, we forward our phones to our cell phones when we're not there. And, Jamie, what was it, 9 o'clock this morning? We're 9 o'clock this morning. I mean, we're up. The kids are already at school. We're up. 9 o'clock this morning, before we get into our office, a phone call comes in. And the guy asks if we had a specific beer. He was looking for a specific beer on tap. Dogfish, 120 minutes. Now, you can never train your staff enough and enough and role play enough, but you just have to keep going. And that's why we're making this video, because this video is going to benefit our staff as well as hopefully your staff if another restaurant operator is watching this. So if, if somebody would have called, so this guy called and he said, do you have Dogfish 120 on tap? Of course we don't. Of course we don't. So immediately, I, immediately you talked to the guy and you said, no, but we do have it in bottles. bottles. And it just came in three weeks ago. And we also have Dogfish. I told him we did have on tap. Because I figured I had this guy on the phone. You already done, have him there. You he's already on the phone. have his attention. He's done research on the internet. I saw the phone number coming in. It was from Ohio. We're in New York. I already had, He's already done research. He's already found us, right? So now is the time to sell him on, now on something. Now you want to catch him and wow him and get him in the door. And if I didn't have any dogfish, I would have still told him what I had. I had. But uh, luckily I have four dogfish on tap right now. And we have like 10 different ones in bottles, maybe even more than that. But I really presented some rare ones to him because we have the luxury of aging beers and, 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 uh, at Aroma Time. He sounded very knowledgeable, right? Very so knowledgeable on beer. He what he was talking about, about beer. So I hope if my staff would have answered this, that it would have gotten much more past no, thank you for calling, bye. Because we have so, any, if you're a restaurant, you have so much to offer. The person's done the research, they're on the line with you, they're calling, they want to do business with you, tell them what they have. And I hopefully have talked him into other beers besides Dogfish, because I told him all these rare beers we have, and all these other beers, and, and some of them he didn't know, and some of them he did know, so now I piqued his interest. So that doesn't only pertain to beer, it pertains to anything that a guest might be calling about. Dina, give us an example of like an hours of operation one or something. If a guest calls and asks if we're open that day, or what time we're open, instead of just saying we're open from 5 until 11, you can say, yes, we're open today, these are our hours, would you like to make a reservation, um, we have a few specials going on tonight, or we have live music going on tonight, to spark their interest into coming into the restaurant, and to get them to say, oh, awesome, yes, I'd love to make a reservation. Exactly. Just don't, just don't let your staff say no and hang up the phone. They're on the phone, sell them on something, ask them when they were thinking about coming in. Um, Spend the five minutes on the phone with that guest, and it could lead into either a lifetime um, customer, customer or just... A great referral, exactly. a great... You never know. It's not even any, five minutes, it's one minute. One minute. Two right. minutes. And they're already on the phone. So they've they already, already have taken the time. They, they already, already have some you. sort of interest just. or some sort of... Um, Right, they want. Yeah, yeah, they, they have they Definitely. want something, so you have to kind of get them to commit. They're right. interested, you have to get them to say, awesome, like, right. now I definitely want to commit. It's just the same as if they were to come in and say, what do you recommend to eat? You wouldn't say nothing. You wouldn't. You wouldn't you say, have to I don't, them an you, have to, you have to throw things out at them as if, you know, oh, this is what we have, and this is what we're specialized in, and this is, you know, this is a special... It's the same thing we on the phone. Tell them what we got. Tell them what they want to hear. Them. Another yeah. one that we get questioned all the time is, do you have live music tonight? And whether it's, you know, we only have live music on Thursdays and Saturdays, but you'll get it on Friday night, do you have live music? So instead of saying, no, we don't have live music tonight and hanging up, you could say, no, we don't have it this evening, but we do have right. it on Thursdays and Saturdays. And it's always the same jazz band on Saturday nights. And it's always a rotating band on Saturday uh, nights. And then you Saturday can follow night. up and say, are you on our Facebook page? Are you on our email list? Have you seen our website? Have you seen our website? Have you seen any of our blogs? Would you so like to get Would you like to get our updates? So next time when they're maybe looking to go out on a Saturday night or a Thursday night or a night that we have an activity or an event going on here, they're going to want to come to your place. Now we do open mic night the first Friday of every month. So the joke that I do to people is on Fridays if they ask, do you have music tonight? I said, if you're singing, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a little joke and I say, it's in all seriousness, we do have open mic night the first Friday of every month, and we always welcome new talent, you know. And some people get really excited about that. Oh, I have a friend I'm going to tell this and that. But 
you you now spark them and now you give them an opportunity to spend money and come visit your place and have a good time as opposed to saying no we don't have dogfish nine 120 on tap no we don't have live music no we're closed right now no sucks the word no sucks in this business and I just nobody can't. wants to hear nobody no. wants to hear no people don't call you they don't walk in the door to be told it's no like asking can you have a special order of something and being told no you <sighs> can't have it yeah I mean the more pleasant you are on the phone and the more informative you are on the phone the customer the guests are gonna think wow I can't wait to go to this place in person and see what kind of service I'm gonna get so I told this guy I said I'm the owner but I don't have to be the owner Dina you could have said I'm Dina when you come in please ask for me I want to help you pick out beers I, that's what I told him. I want to help you with beer. I want to show you some of the cool stuff we have on our list. Whether it's wines, bourbons, your entrees, whatever it is. I would like to help you make sure you introduce yourself to me. So now there's that personal connection. So you know, you don't need to be the owner. You know, you can do it. A hostess can do it. Anybody can do it. So, you know, think about, the, think about it before you say no. Anything else, girls? No. No. <laughs> <He said that. laughs> no, there's not anything else to say. Thanks for watching.